a vibrant celebration of black music and art. Now in its 11th year, Afropunk has grown from a small gathering of punk fans in Brooklyn to a global success, with tens of thousands of people coming together at festivals in New York, Paris, Atlanta, and now London. Image and style is big here, but the artists see the event as more than just a good social media opportunity. Afropunk is about freedom of expression to me. I think it's important for black people to self-define. I think Afropunk does that and, you know, we can be whoever we want to be. I am who I say I am, not who anyone else does. So yeah, self-determination, self-definition and just art, you know, like a positive you know, perspective or an African future that is, that is bright, a, a future for the African diaspora that is positive and great. Afropunk and being here kind of demonstrates that there's no bars. Everyone here is liberated. Even the type of music that they play here is not stereotypical. You know, it's not stereotypical black music or whatever the case may be. The diversity in music, the eclectic taste of the people that are here is amazing. Founders say inclusivity and empowerment have always been the driving force behind the festival but it's generated fierce debate around black identity and the need to create more opportunities for black artists. The issue of black identity has also had an effect on the festival's lineup. Grace Jones has replaced the British Sri Lankan rapper MIA as the headlining act. Some fans had threatened to boycott the festival after MIA's criticism of the Black Lives Matter movement. It's also raised questions about what it means to be black in the UK today. It feels so good coming here today and looking around and seeing this, these are people that look like me. That is, it's such a big issue in this country. Obviously, we, people don't look like us here. I think this is a good start, um, but at the same time, to be able to open it up amongst other cultural ethnic identities as well, so it doesn't become too exclusive, because exclusivity breeds separation and separation breeds hate. You need to have your core identity, which is very important, but you also need to unite with other people because it's the only way I believe we'll be able to grow and, uh, and develop in the world. That unity will be important as Afropon continues to expand globally. It's headed to Africa for the first time next year with plans for a show in Johannesburg. Miami Jones, BBC News.